Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to Sky Factory. How y'all doing? Doing good? I'm doing great. It's Christmas Eve, folks. That's right, today is Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to one and all. Um, so today, what are we going to work on today? Today we're going to work on... Hang on, let me get to the right view here. Today we're going to work on a couple of things. First and foremost, in my... Uh, in my artif or in my arcane workbench, I have all of the components to make. Put the wand in to make a fire focus for my wand. So we're going to go ahead and make that like so, and get our wand back. Ooh, 14 on the on the Perditi on the Perdicio. Interesting. All right, so let's get in here. Let's go to the baubles. Let's go here. And let's put this in here like so, and we'll put this wand focus, whoops, we'll put this wand focus in here. Ta-da! So now we have three. We have the shock focus, we have the equal trade focus, and we have the fire focus. Equal trade is awesome. Uh, in case you missed it, we got that in the live stream on Wednesday. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and put this back on our person where it belongs, right there. Okay. And then we're going to work on something else now. We're going to go in going to go ahead and work on the goggles of revealing. Um, the goggles of revealing. I want to make those because it, it's something that I won't have to carry around then, um, because you make it out of the th uh, the thama mama mama mometer, uh, and it and it, it yeah it's pretty handy. To make that, we need a couple of shards. So let's get a couple of shards. We'll get something that we got a bunch of like uh, like fire need two of those and then we need what else did we need to make the thermometer thermometer it's uh, glass two gold and two shards okay oh that's another thing we got to do uh, well we need I, I made some order uh, some order or uh -huh, some order shards in the live stream yesterday but I forgot to scan them so we'll make another one of those and we'll get that scanned but anyway, let's go in here. Let's see. Uh, thermometer. We need to make one more of these. Ta-da! Oh. What? Did I only take one of those? I only took one of those shards, didn't I? And where's my glass? Don't I have glass in here? I bet I don't have any vanilla glass, do I? No, I just have quite clear. That's fine. We'll make it into a piece of regular glass. How about that? Uh, let's see, is this my tools one? Yes, it is. Oops. Tools. Chisel. Uh, I don't need the wand on me right at the moment. We'll chisel this into a piece of regular glass, like so. Thank you. And we'll put that back in here. And I guess we'll have to go back out to get another shard. Because apparently I only picked up one. I thought I picked up two. That's okay. We got plenty. We have plenty. Oh yeah, I know. I know what I did. Okay. Anyway, we got it. No big. No worries. But yeah, with the goggles of revealing, uh, we won't have to worry about... It, we, it'll free up an inventory space for us, essentially. So we go like that. And there we have that. So now we'll put both of those in here. Oh, no, we don't want to put them in there because we need them, actually. Ga or, uh, thumb. Whoops. There they are. Need two of those. We needed um, gold. How much gold did we need? Let's see here. Find the book. So that is two pieces of gold two uh, and four pieces of leather. Okay. So two pieces of gold. Uh, wait a minute. Whoa, hold the phone here, folks. Where'd my other um I didn't pick up both thermometers. Why not? Can it they stack, don't they? Oh they don't stack. Okay, that's probably what happened. And then we need a peak cups uh, we need some leather. So one, a two, a three, a four. Awesome sauce. Now we'll go back up to the work uh, off to the arcane workbench. It's kinda weird. Whenever I go into the nether and come back my jetpack doesn't make any noise anymore. It's kind of weird indeed. Okay, so we got this. Boom, 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 boom. And then we need... Uh, how did it go? How did that go? Okay. 
space in the middle. So we got this here, like so. And then we've got one of these here, and one of these here. S insufficient viz. Okay, so what am I missing? I'm missing, I'm missing uh, Ignis. Okay, well we can fix that. How much Ignis do I have? 3.1. Ooh, yeah, that's that's kind of low. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go over here and we're going to turn the mob farm on. This is, I'll tell you what, I, I did not know that you could get mo uh, get essence from mobs. I didn't know that. Or uh, uh, not essence, but viz. I didn't know you could get viz from mobs. So we'll go ahead and let some mobs spawn in there and then we'll go kill them real quick. And uh, and we'll be and we'll call it good. What have I done around here that I have neglected to show you? Well, one thing that happened while we're waiting for some mobs to spawn in there is we kind of screwed up over here. We kind of screwed up. Um, we lost our villager because I had to open this up so that I could scan the snowman. When I put the block back, I forgot to put the torch back, so there was a spawnable space up here. And I think we spawned a zombie, and he ate uh, he ate the villager. So yeah, we're gonna have to get a new villager. There should be some mobs over here now. There are. I see them. I hear them too. I have no idea how much viz we are. Yeah, how much uh, ignis we need, but we should be able to get much of it from here. Uh, let's see, how much do we have now? 9.1 on Ignis now. Okay. Uh, let's see, how much did we need? So for the goggles of revealing, Ignis, we need 5. Okay, we got enough now. We got plenty. Um, let's go over here and do this. Let us go and do this. This is probably going to be a slightly shorter episode today. Actually, it's going to be probably a significantly shorter episode today because I do need to get on the Beach Block server and do some stuff on there too for Christmas. So um, don't don't forget that that episode's going to be coming out. But here we go. We got our goggles of revealing, and so now we can come over here, and I think we just do this, right? Take this off, put this on. Awesome. We got our goggles of revealing. How's that make us look? Stylish. We are stylish, stylish, stylish. Now, how does one use the goggles of revealing? Hmm. That's a good question. That is a good question indeed. Um, hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm kind of confused. Are you confused? I'm confused. You're probably not confused. I'm confused easily. Let's see here. Um, okay, so let's, let's, I'll tell you what, let's read up on the goggles of revealing. Building on the basic principles of the thermometer, you've begun to refining its ability to detect magic into something more. Revealing. This set of mystical lenses will uh, make aura nodes much easier to find along with revealing all manner of hidden things. They form an important tool in any Thaumaturgist's arsenal. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so this will make nodes show up, but I don't have any nodes in this world. So do they actually scan, or am I just mistaken on this? Is there a control for it? Let's see. Options. Controls. Uh, let's look for Thaumcraft. I don't see any thumbcraft in here. Uh huh. I don't see any thumbcraft in here. Did you see thumb? Did you did you see thumbcraft in here? Uh huh. I don't see it, folks. I don't see thumbcraft in here anywhere. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'll have to do some research on that and find out exactly what I can do with these now that I've built them. I mean, so down here was the stuff that had to do with the wand. Miscellaneous, activate, hover, harness, no. Um, 
miscellaneous wand toggles toggle full screen yeah see that's hmm interesting interesting indeed well okay all right well that that was kind of weird it took me right back out of there and took me right back to the game screen interesting 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 hmm well that's that's something all right, let's get rid of some of the stuff that we got in our inventory. Holy moly. Inventory? Jacked up, dude. Jacked up. We got we can get rid of that. And we can get rid of that and that and that and that and that. And let's see. We'll get rid of that skull. Don't need that right now. Put the helmet away. Um mm -hmm. all those extra arrows. You know what? That's something that we actually need to do. We need to look at a new a new bow. Uh, preferably something from Tinkers. I want a crossbow. So, let's see here. Uh, in order to do a crossbow, we're going to have to have the... Uh, yeah. Um, tool forge. Not, not, the, not the tool station, but the tool forge. So, let's see. How, we need some iron for that. Tool forge. There it is. So we're going to need iron blocks, we're going to need a tool station, and we're going to need some seared brick. Okay, so let's get some iron blocks. We'll need four of those. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and build a tool forge and, uh, and get some materials together, and we're going to look at what we're going to do to build a crossbow. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here we are. I got the tool, uh, the tool forge built, um, but I need some obsidian. Because I think I want to use obsidian for part of my crossbow for durability. Uh, and I think I want to use some paper for it too, but I'm not sure. Uh, I want to use paper for part of it so I can get an extra modifier on it. But let's see. In here, let's do this. So there's our tough pattern, our tough, um, yeah, our tough binding. And then we also need a body. Uh, so if we do, let's see, can I do paper on this? No. Can I do paper on any of this? No. I can do a str I can do string. Hmm. I can do string, enchanted fabric, or flame string on the bowstring pattern. Okay. Let's see here. Put the crossbow, let's see, the crossbow itself, I want that made out of... Uh, do I have thalmium? I think I have some thalmium, don't I? Let's go look and see if I got some thalmium. I'm sure I do. Thalmium. Yeah, I got, oh, I got lots of thalmium. Let's put one back in there. I might have to run this through the smeltery and make it liquid form. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't do it like this. I'm almost positive I can't do it like this. So the crossbow limb... Thaumium. Oh, it will work. It will work on ingots. Good. Okay, so we'll do that. And I think we're going to make the body out of that, too. Yeah, we can make the body out of that, too. Okay, so there's that. Now we need string. And I can do paper. I can do... Uh, I can do string. I can do... In enchanted fabric or I can do flame string. Alright, how can I get some of that stuff? Let's see. Uh, flame string I think is what I want. Flame string. How you make? How you make? You don't make. Okay. How about enchanted fabric? Enchanted fabric. How you make that? Ooh. In the arcane, in the arcane work table, using string and wool, I think we can do that. I think we can do that all day long. Let's see, do we have any string in here? Uh, I know I've got string upstairs. String, yes, I need four of those, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, and then we needed some wool. We needed one of those. Okay, let's go over here. This may not be end. This may not end up being a shorter episode after all. 
I do want this bow. I do want this crossbow. All right, so four string, one, two, three, four, right? And some of that. And we need our wand. Hopefully we have enough, otherwise we'll have to go kill some more mobs. We do. Enchanted fabric. Watch, we need more than one piece. That'll be, that would be just my luck to need more than one piece. We'll see. All right, come back over here, come to the part builder. Phone's making noise. It's vibrating all over the place. All right, so we good with that. Now we'll put that in there like that. Cost three, that figures, yep. Need more, need more wool. I got plenty of string and wool, so wool. Need three more of those, right? One, two, three. And string, we're gonna need, uh, there's four, so we're gonna need 12 of those string. Oops. I don't know that we're gonna have enough viz. We may have to, I may have to cut and go over and kill some more mobs. All right, let's see here. String, right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oops. Do that. Do that. Wand. Oh, we got enough. We got plenty. We have plenty. Oh, I just made one too many, didn't I? I did. Dang it. I just wasted stuff. That's all right. We'll probably have, we'll have a use for this somewhere. All right. Put that in there like that. Enchanted bowstring. Awesome. Okay, so now we'll come over here to the tool forge. We'll pull up the crossbow pattern. We'll put our obsidian in there. We'll put this right there. We'll do this right there. And we'll do this right here. And what do we get? Uh, ooh. Stonebound Thalmic Reinforced 3. Uh, and then we'll just have to level it up. Okay. Now, the other thing that we need is crossbow bolts. Now, I'm not real sure how what crossbow bolts are uh, are what we want to are what we want those are arrows that's a throwing knife that's a javelin um, can I do those over here I wonder uh-huh uh, let's see here I know oh hey hi ooh, ah, nice very nice we'll level that puppy up um, let's see, crossbow, oh, that's a shuriken. Okay, so I got to look up the pattern on how to make crossbow bolts. So give me just a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so according to the book, we need tool rods. And it says to use your most durable, uh, your, your, your highest damage materials. Um, yeah, it says to use your most highest damage materials to do this. Now, here's my question. My, I've got some alamite. I got. I can do 17 ingots worth. Uh, 17 ingots worth, which is 34 tool rods. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the right. I'm not sure if that's the right material because a lot of people are saying alamite. Alamite crossbow bolts are pretty good. Uh, well, yeah. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. So let's do that. Oh, that's iron. That's iron. I didn't want to do that. Um, poop on a stick. Alamite. Let's do alamite. There we go. Yeah. So let's make up a bunch of these. And the other thing that we have to do is that we have to tip them with something that does a lot of damage. And so I'm not, mm, I'm not sure what the best material to do that with would be. Um, let's see, that's four, so let's get that out of there. Put this back for right now. And then you take these tool these tool rods that you that you did and you tip them with something that does a lot of damage, which I don't really have anything. A lot of people are saying like manulin, but I don't I don't have any manulin. I can't get any manulin yet. Um, but we could do I think obsidian's going to make them heavy. There's tin. I don't want to do tin. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just do iron for a couple of them. I don't. I don't know that that's going to. Oh, 
What did I just do? Aha! We got it. Okay. And then we need to fletch them, and I think I just fletch them with feathers. Two. Let's try this out anyway. See what it does. All right. Here we are. That'll give us a bunch of crossbow bolts. Oh, and we can't even we can't even hold anymore. <laughs> we can't even hold anymore. All right. So let's see what this thing can do now. Uh, let's see. I want to aim for right above. I guess I want to aim for right above that torch right there. Not too bad. Let's go over here and see what kind of damage it does on an ant on a mob. One shot. I'll take it. Of course, I mean that's a cow, so cows aren't really a true indicator. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go to the Nether real quick. Let's go to the Nether real quick and see see what we can kill doing that. Let's find us a blaze or something. And then that'll probably do it for today. If we can ever get loaded up in the nether. Come on. There we go. Alright, now. Find me a blaze. There's a blaze right there. Oh, one shot, dude. One shot indeed. Well, I'm, I think I'm happy with this. Draw, the draw time is a little bit slow, but dude, one shot, one shot kills. I am aw that is awesome. All right, folks, that's gonna do it. Thanks so much for watching. I certainly hope that you enjoyed this episode. I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. If you did like it, make sure you leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Um, again, thanks so much for watching. We did good stuff today. Thanks for watching the live stream, and once again, folks. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. If you're not a Christmas person, that's okay. Whatever holiday you celebrate this time of year, I hope that you have a great one. Or if you're not a holiday type of person at all, I just hope you have a great day. Again, folks, thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you on the flip side. If don't Remember, remember, don't forget to hit, hit that like button, and if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you later, folks. Bye-bye. And then come in here and find that deep storage unit again. Deep storage unit. And shift click that in. Okay, so there's our deep storage unit. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out how we're going to fill